if anybody took that last video I made seriously, I feel sorry for you. Because I was not being serious. Uh, I believe the polar opposite of what I said. <clears throat> My World 2.0 is one of the worst albums ever made, the worst pop albums, just overall, just a horrid piece of album that with horrible lyrics, horrible songwriting, uh, a prepubescent voice that doesn't even match the skill of a Roger Daughtry or a Paul McCartney or anybody on that level. Nobody. Uh, it is just uh, a ball of crap, if you could put it that way. But I do want to make a real video. I want to review one of my favorite albums ever made. This is real. The Who Quadrophenia. Now this album, when I first heard it, spoke to me on different many. It, it spoke to me on many different levels because I was kind of going through a stage in my life where I was like, "Who am I? What am I here for?" You know, and you know, throughout the album, the the character uh, Jimmy, he goes through uh, many different situations, adventures where he uh, where he basically does drugs. His favorite band, The Who, turns him down, and they're like, "Pish, piss off, piss off, Soddy," you know, you know, just telling him to piss off. And uh, his, he's a, he's a mod. That's one of the main themes in the, in the, in the, in the album, is that he's a mod. And uh, the mods and rockers are again going against each other. They're clashing. And that's a main theme. And really. It's all of, it's kind of, all these reflections, all these things that happens to Jimmy are reflections on society, how society has corrupted Jimmy uh, to becoming something that he's not. And finally at the end, when he finds himself at the rock on the ocean, he, he's finally like, I am who I am. Who I am is who I am. Who I am is not defined by anybody, but only by myself. And uh, if anybody's going to tell me different, uh, then screw them. I mean, that's what I got from it. And the most, one of the other most beautiful things about the album is at the end when Roger Daughtry lets out that beautiful love. <laughs> uh, it is just so unbelievably powerful. I can't even match it. The first. Uh, it wasn't the first time I've ever heard it, but when I really started to understand the album, I kind of teared up at the end when that the very last part, the last love, just when he's raining out every single emotion, just love rain or me, you know, just love, love is the answer, you know, that kind of mentality. It is just beautiful. It's just beautiful in a lot of ways, and uh, it's one of my favorite albums of all time. Let's get let's get down to the songwriting and lyrics. Uh, the lyrics are not just a story, but they're also reflections on society, talking about society, different gangs, mods, and rockers, and talking about rock stars, technically themselves. Uh, that rock stars aren't, aren't all they cracked up to be. They're, you know, they're kind of mean sometimes. You know, they're jerks. You know, they're... Uh, they go into this world of success and money and they just it takes them over and uh, and obviously the songwriting is just mass it's just beautiful the songwriting is just on so many levels just amazing uh, the guitar work even the piano work on uh, helpless dancer is unbelievably beautiful and love rain or me the piano work is just mind-blowingly good uh, for a while, this was my favorite album of all time. Like no, no other album ever uh, came close to this. Even though the Beatles is my favorite band, Beatles is my favorite band, but Quadrophenia is my favorite album. I have a new favorite album, uh, and I'll be reviewing that sometime, maybe today, because it's Friday. But I got a lot of time on my hands because it's Good Friday, Easter, you know all that crap. Uh, anyway, uh, VC, I hope you enjoyed this video. It's been a while. 
Peace out. Peace and love. Peace and love. Like Ringo, you know. Peace.